What's happening, Cigars Daily Nation? I am today on my way out the door of Cigars Daily to head over to the new Cigars Daily HQ because I've got this air purifier right here that I need to do a review of. Renfro sent this thing to me. It's like a more affordable solution than like the Rabbit Air and some of the other stuff out there. I think these price in at around $80. So if you're looking for a solution to like eat the smoke in your like bedroom or something like that, this might be it, but I'm going to review this. The only thing I need to really do a good review of this unit right here is a place that's not already smoky, and the Cigars Daily HQ certainly is, so I'm actually headed over to the new HQ, the 3.0 HQ that we're still working on because there hasn't really been a lot of smoking in there so far. So I'm going to go take this to my new office, going to smoke in there, and I want to test a few things with this unit. I want to see how well it deals with smoke in the environment, right? In order for the air to be clean, it's gotta be able to remove all the smoke from the air and not let any smoke accumulate in the room. Then I wanna come back a couple times and see how well this thing like reduces the residual smell of smoke in the building. And we'll see what the other features are that it has that we can test and all that kind of stuff. So now I just gotta get over to the HQ and I'll meet you guys in my office. All right, here we are, my office at the new Cigars Daily HQ, and this is actually the beginning of setting things up. So I wanna unbox this bad boy first thing, take a quick look inside and see what it all comes with, and then we'll plug it in and start seeing how well it works in here. First thing that stands out to me about this is that there's just one filter, which is kind of a welcome thing considering with other air purifiers I've used, like Rabbit Air, there's like five different filters to replace, which always gives me a sense of like good feeling. But again, this looks like not just a one process filter. It's definitely like a HEPA looking thing on the outside while there's like a, like a charcoal almost looking thing on the inside. There's probably multiple stages to this and I can read more about that in the directions, but it really quite simply goes together here. This thing goes in the bottom like that and that's it. That's actually really, really easy. Okay, so that should be all that's required of setup, especially reading the caution card, which basically says, put the filter in, remove the packaging off the filter, which we've now done. So now I'm gonna plug this thing in, I'm gonna light up, I'm actually gonna to start to do some work in my office today. And I just wanna test right now, how well does this thing pull smoke out of the air? So I'll kind of be paying attention to that as I smoke and work and review. As I'm turning this on, one thing I actually find really great about this is how user-friendly it is. It's very intuitive. The buttons on the front are all really simple. You can set the thing to just be on for two hours or four hours or eight hours. You can set it low, medium, and high, on and off. There's even a little light button option here where it light changes colors, I guess. You can set it to do all kinds of stuff and it didn't, actually didn't even need to pull out the user manual to learn how to do these things. So up front, that was really, really pleasant. It's just easy to use. Not a lot of guesswork here, and I'm already cleaning the air. It's great. Okay, we're off. We're smoking and we're smoke eating. And truly, in the room that I'm in, if I didn't have any kind of filtration in this room, I would hotbox this pretty quick. My office right here is all glass on the front. It's about a 10 by 10 room. So it's got like enough space in it that if I was just in here smoking by myself without any filtration, it would be certainly very smoky in here. So now I'm just going to kind of pay attention to see if smoke accumulates in this room while I do this with this thing running. Well, I gotta say, I've been in here for the last hour and a half puffing away on the cigar with the door closed, and the whole time, the air in here has been crystal clear. Even when I blow smoke across the room in the opposite direction of this thing, it clears up within a matter of a minute. It's been doing really well for this 100 square foot room, and I'll tell you, this thing is rated by the manufacturer to cover up to 220 square feet, and after doing a little bit of research on the filter inside of this thing, it's a four-phase filter, has four different types of filters 
filters in it. There's a, a net filter essentially that catches larger particles. Also an activated carbon filter, which is pretty standard for a lot of smoke eaters like this and a HEPA filter, which is great for grabbing those small particles of smoke. In addition to that, there's an ultra fine pre filter and what that one does, I'm not entirely sure, but it's nice to see multiple filters sort of contained within the one unit. And the other big thing is that the replacement filters for this bad boy, the unit itself is between 80 and hundred bucks, depending on where you buy it, but filters can get really expensive. So we, we looked online and truly the filters for replacing this thing are about 25 or 30 bucks. It's not really bad. And you're going to have to end up replacing them maybe once every four to six months, depending on how often you use your room. But at the first go of this thing, it's performing really admirably, especially for something that's a fraction of the cost of the really, really nice air purifiers out there. The other big thing I want to check with this, and it's the last thing I'm going to do here, is check and see what the smoke smell is like in here tomorrow. If I leave this thing running after I leave, I'll probably set the timer and have it run for four hours, see what the smoke smell is like tomorrow. Now, eventually, if you're smoking in the same space over and over again, it's going to smell like smoke in there. You'll get that smell. We'll just sort of linger there because it's a really potent smell, but it certainly should be able to air, uh, purify and pull some of that smell out of the room at the very least. The way that it's scrubbing the air in here, I have no doubt that it'll be good, but we got to check on that tomorrow. So let's jump into that. So day two, I just got back and coming into my office, truly, I can't smell any smoke smell at all in here after running the Renfro last night. I set it to run for eight hours and then shut itself off and it did that. And coming into this building today, I actually could smell smoke in other parts of the building. Uh, and in here, it's actually noticeably different. Although it, given enough time, I'm sure that the smoke smell would win out, right? Like if you smoke in any space for long enough, it'll eventually smell like smoke. So, uh, now it's off. It's been off since I got here today. Now I turn it back on really easy to do. And today I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to smoke in here again for a little while while I get some work done. And then I am going to come back tomorrow and see how much that smoke smell is reduced and make sure that it's continuing to pull smoke out of the air while I'm in here today. So time to get to work. All right, it's now day three on my review of the Renfro over here. And I gotta tell you, like the experience with it has been really pleasant. I actually got way more than what I expected out of this unit through and through. I said it again yesterday when I left to be on for eight hours. And this morning I came in, I can smell the smell of cigar smoke throughout the building, but not in my office here. So it's been really effective at sort of conquering the odor. But the big thing is that it cleans the air while I'm in the room. And that's the thing I really like it for. This thing keeps this room like crystal clear in terms of air quality. And it seems like I could probably even use it in a large room. Like I said, it is rated up to 220 square feet. So if you're looking for air purification for your home lounge or your wherever you're going to be smoking cigars, I do recommend this thing, especially for what you're going to pay for it. Renfro has done a really good job and this is not the only humidifier they make. My understanding is they make a bunch of them that they've actually recently released. And so do your own research on the thing, but I'll tell you from my standpoint, point here. It's a quality machine that does exactly what it says it does. Now I need to know from you guys though, if you've used Renfro's air purifiers before, please drop a comment down below with what you think of them because we'll all learn better when we learn together. And I want to thank you guys for supporting cigars daily. It means the world to our family here. And if you haven't done so subscribe right here on the channel for more of the best damn cigar content online. Thank you all so much for watching. This is Tim signing off for cigars daily. And I'll see you in the comments. All right, it's day three of my review of the Renfro over here. And oh gosh, it dripped on the box.